In this Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use pivot tables. What is a pivot table? A pivot table is a data analysis tool used to summarize, explore, and present data in an organized manner. An Excel worksheet can hold what seems like an infinite amount of information. Because of this, Excel created pivot tables allowing you to more efficiently manage your Excel worksheets without making any worksheet changes. Suppose that I'm a supplier of organic pepper seeds. I put this table together so I could analyze the retailers I sell to. In this table, I have six columns, retailer, region, product, quantity, price per unit, and total sales. Now, suppose I needed to know the quantity of habanero pepper seed packets that were sold. Because there were habanero seed packets sold to many different retailers, I would normally have to sum these up to find my answer. Instead, I'll use an Excel pivot table, which will make this much more efficient. If you want, build your own data table and follow along. First, select your data that is to be used in your pivot table. If your data is formatted as a table, all you have to do is simply select a cell within the table. If your data is not formatted as a table, you will have to select the entire range of cells, including your column headers. Now, click on the Insert tab, and then click on the Pivot Table command. The Create Pivot Table dialog box will appear. Make sure that the New Worksheet Radio button is selected so that your pivot table will be located on a different worksheet than your data table. And then click OK, and a new worksheet will appear. You can see on the left, there is a blank pivot table. This is because we haven't selected any fields yet. Now, if you look to the right of the worksheet, you can see that there is a list of fields. This list of fields is the same as the column headers from the table that we selected our data from. This field allows us to control what is displayed or not displayed in our pivot table. Remember, we're wanting to know the quantity of habanero pepper seeds that were sold. Since we want to know the quantity of habanero pepper seed packets that were sold, we will check the box next to the product field and the quantity field, and both fields will be added to one of the areas below. In this case, the rows area for the product and the value area for the quantity. Now, when we look at our pivot table, we can see the quantity of all products that were sold, including habanero pepper seed packets, showing us that 4,800 packets of habanero pepper seeds were sold. Now suppose I wanted to find out which retailer purchased the most. I would select Retailer and Total Sales. Now my pivot table shows me all the retailers and the sum of total sales. By looking at this, I know that Ray's Nursery is my most valuable customer. 